In this exercise you will learn the three different types of parameter settings for drawing images, videos, and canvas elements on the canvas. The first parameter of the draw image function will allow you to either put in an image resource, a video resource, or another canvas. The first thing we're going to do is right above our draw function is we're going to have to get the variable for the image resource established. So I'll name mine my pick. And that's going to be equal to a new image object in JavaScript. And this is how we're going to establish whatever resources we need to in the top portion of our script. That way they're loaded when our draw function runs. So we'll take that pick and say my pick dot source. And I'm going to put the path to the image resource. And my pick is called meFace.jpg. And here's where you can also establish video resources and canvas resources through JavaScript, all through code. I've noticed there's a lot of examples online that demonstrate how to take a picture that you have in the HTML on the HTML part of the page in an image tag and then place it in the canvas. But you don't have to do that. You don't have to have any image tag down in the body or anywhere on the page. You can just load the resource through JavaScript like this. Okay, now let's use the draw image method. Draw image, open close parentheses, semicolon. And inside, we're going to feed it the parameters it needs. Now there's three different types of parameter settings that you could feed this method. The first and the most basic is you feed it your image resource as the first parameter. That's my pick, comma. And the second parameter is the X position where you want it to be placed on the canvas. And the third parameter is the Y position where you want it to be placed. Now let's refresh our canvas and see so we get our picture at 20 pixels offset to the top left. So we can see that the parameters for the draw image function, the way we're using it here, is the image resource, X, and Y positions. Now we'll show you how to use the draw image function like this, with the second type of parameter setting that allows you to size the picture. So you still can put it at any X and Y position that you want. I'm going to keep mine at 20X and 20Y. And I'm going to make my picture 100 wide and 100 high. Refresh. So that allows me to size and position it. Now the third setting allows you to add clipping. So I'm going to put in the values now that will give me my picture how it looks normal. And then we'll start to clip it up. So you can see I have my clip X and clip Y set to 0, 0. I have my clip width and clip height set to 200 and 200 because that's the dimensions of my picture by default. By default, this picture is 200 by 200 pixels. And then I have my X position at 20 again and Y position at 20, so it's not tucked in the top left corner. And then my width and height is still 200. And you can see if I change the height, So you can play with all of these numbers. And you can also do things like take my pick instead of using static numbers, say my pick dot width right here. And that already knows it's a value of 200. And you can show yourself that to prove it by putting an alert my pick dot width, refresh the page, and you get a 200 value. So your canvas is going to know the pick's width even if you don't because it's loaded the resource dynamically and can access the width and height properties. The same for your canvas. Remember you can access all of your canvas properties so if you want to make an image match the dimensions of your canvas or be centered in your canvas you can do those sorts of things by using the image width and height against the width and height of your canvas. So don't think of these numbers being so static. They can be very dynamic. And also keep in mind that these can be video resources and other canvases that you can load into your canvas. All right, now let me show you how the clipping works. If I clip X 100 pixels and then refresh, oh, let me get rid of that alert. Okay, so you can see it clipped it to the left. If I wanna clip it to the right, I'll just put minus 100 there and it clips it the other way. So let's just put minus 50 so you see it's only a 50 clipping on the right edge. If I put positive 50, it clips the left edge 50 pixels. So if I wanted just a corner of the pixel, the bottom corner maybe, 100 here and then 100 here, 
should give me just a corner the bottom corner alright so put these back to zero and that gives you the regular picture again now the clip width and the clip height for instance if I change this to 150 you can see that it clips the image to that width and it'll stretch it and same for the clip height so now we understand all of the parameter settings for all three different types of ways we can work with images in the draw image method and remember you can put videos resources in place of this my pick resource that can be a video resource or another canvas resource and remember that you can load those resources straight through JavaScript okay that completes drawing images videos and canvas elements to your canvas element through JavaScript